on my way to work. Um, done it many times, um, but let's see. It's a upwind, uh, about 10 nautical miles upwind, so it was gonna be a while. I'm taking a big board because the water is getting a bit uh, colder, and I have a backpack with a dry bag. Yeah, let's do it. A uh, bit of a mission carrying board, foil, leash, dry bags, the wing and the back. Uh, but it's always fun to get to work um, just by using the wind. Wing is fun. I'm using all these kind of uh, straps to get everything uh, uh, tight, close and unpacked. Um, so it helps a lot. I'm also going to get the telephone. Um, with a Strava on so you can see our course and how fast we do it and yeah, see you there Going about 20, 20 knots when uh, there's a little My front foot strap just broke so Some of the videos you can't hear anything because it was too windy um, so I deleted it um, but uh, you might be wondering also why is he jibing when he's he's going upwind and the reason is that I just wanted to secure the turns um, and having also a backpack with um, about 10-15 kilos on my back it makes it more challenging to make your turns, so you don't want to fall off every time uh, with a backpack. Um, yeah, out here behind, I was showing the, the island of um, Olo, and then Janu in my back is halfway. It was a very tough part here because there's a lot of seaweed, and I was just getting really tired of um, not getting anywhere and having to jump off the board. And getting that seaweed off. Um, yeah. Also, when you're tired, stop it. What I love about these trips is that um, you just focus so much on the surface of the ocean, and it's kind of a meditation. You just um, trying to look for those gas to go upwind, every little wave, it can help you. Um, so it just, you just really uh, enjoy the, the elements and you connect with, your, with yourself. Um, there was times that the wind kind of died, so you just had to wait for those gas to come up on foil and then push again upwind. So it, yeah, then you go pry and for the wind to stay and yeah, and it's fun to, to sail from gust to gust, always uh, keeping an eye ahead on what you should do if it's going downwind to get a bit of speed or, or keep pushing upwind. Yeah, I found it really, really fun and entertaining. Denmark, uh, the peninsula of Julen, uh, where I'm living, and um, just right here, that's uh, the little trip, right in there. Um, yeah. 
I love analyzing what I've been doing and long distance trips are definitely a lot of fun. You just have to remember to plan it and bring, bring plenty of water and, um, and a telephone or a VHF radio. Yesterday, 27 nautical miles, that's around 50k. And with a top speed of 26 knots, yeah, that's quite good. Um, so the wind was coming from the east, so it's like an upwind all the way. Um, and then this stretch was the hardest part here. Doesn't look like, but I had to stop inland for a little bit. It was full of seaweed, really hard to, to make a progress here. Eventually I did a little bit upwind here and finally made it three hours later all the way to Vesnam Tomb. That's the town I work. Yeah. And today is gonna be a rest day in the sofa with this little doggy. I am so tired. So it's a um, well-earned recovery day for me. So far, movies. Thanks for watching, guys. You.